Hello, you beautiful souls, and welcome back to Catching Waves Yoga with me, Leslie. If you've never been here, welcome, and I'm so grateful that you are joining us today. If you're coming back, thank you. I'm so glad that you enjoy your experience to come back time and time again. Um, so today's session is going to be a self-love driven session. Now I promise it will not be as cheesy as that sounds, but we are in a time, especially at the new year, where people begin to set goals and whatever that may be. And even last week's session, we talked about envision. What do you want tomorrow to look like next week, next month, next year? So I think tying in with that theme, when we go into our self-love and truly start to show ourselves compassion, we can heal, whatever it may be. You know, you probably heard the word trauma floating around, especially if you are in the health and wellness field. Everyone has trauma, whether it is a big trauma or a small trauma, there's something that we have to look inward to heal from. And so today's practice is really truly going to focus on that. How can we heal ourselves to be the best version that you truly wanna be for yourself and for other people? So, if you are excited, just like I am, get on back to your mat and uh, we'll do some yoga. I hope you guys are having a good start to your day so far. Um, I have had just an amazing morning. I always start my morning with writing down some things that I'm grateful for, and then I make myself a delicious superfood coffee, and I just give myself some time and some space to just ground and be with my thoughts. I know that sounds super cheesy, but I've been doing that for years. Like My mornings are so important to me. If you are new, I'm an art teacher by day. Um, and I'm a middle school teacher, so when I think of mornings that are stressed and I am rushing to get breakfast done, rushing to get clothes on, rushing to get out the door and in my car, I don't want a morning like that because if I'm stressed and anxious and like jittery, imagine how I'm going to be for 200 students all day. So for me, self-love is something that I practice every single day because it helps calm my brain, calm my body, calm my nervous system, and then I am just the most beneficial person to not only myself, but my students that I see all day long. So I truly hope that this practice will inspire you in some way to take over your mornings, if that's your thing, or your afternoon, whatever it may be. Just find that little nugget of time throughout your day to just focus on you. What do you need? What are your desires? What are your goals? And how can you start to get to those things? So come on down to your seat, get in a nice comfortable cross leg position. If that's comfortable to you, you can have your legs out. You can have your legs to the side for all I care. Just make sure we're sitting up nice and tall in the spine. Hands are in your lap and go ahead and close your eyes. We're gonna start to breathe here. So take a big inhale in through the nose and out through the mouth. Inhale, breathe it all in. Exhale, let it go. One more just like that, in and out. Good, just let that breath come in and out through the nose in a nice normal rhythm. And just begin noticing what's going on in your body, and maybe even your mind. Notice what thoughts you are having right now. Are they positive thoughts or are they negative thoughts? Notice where you might be holding tension in your body. Maybe your shoulders are creeping up towards your ears. Just relax them down. Maybe you're noticing yourself slouching forward. Try to sit up nice and tall, lift through your chest just slightly. And focus on that breath, big inhale, and exhale, and keep that going as you continue to notice what's going on in your body. Notice where you're holding in that tension. Just give yourself a little shake in that area and let it relax. Because part of self-love is slowing down, looking inward, noticing what's truly going on, and accepting it, not battling it, accepting it so that way you can find your answers on how to fix whatever it may be moving forward. And through stillness, we gain that clarity that we truly need. So we sit here and we take a big breath in and out. 
With that next inhale, bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly, and as we breathe, lift through your entire front body. So inhale, press it all towards the wall in front of you. And as we exhale, really pull that belly button into your spine, press the air out. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. Inhale, breathe it all in, smile. And exhale, let it all go. Everything that's not serving you. Inhale, big breath, self-love. Exhale, release all of those toxins, all of that trauma. Keep going with that exhale. Press it all out as deeply as you can. Great, catch your breath in. And let it go. Awesome, you can relax your hands down by your side, open your eyes if you would like, or just simply listen to my voice to guide you. We're gonna take a big breath in, send your nose up towards the sky. And as we exhale, tuck your chin towards your chest. Make sure you're staying tall in the spine. Inhale, lifting that nose. Exhale, chin to chest. Relax your shoulders down and continue that movement for the next couple breaths. Noticing if you're clenching in your jaws, let it go. Great, with that next inhale, Lift your arms all the way up to the sky. Bring your palms together, interlace your fingers, and extend your index fingers towards the ceiling. Press up. And as we exhale, we're gonna lean to the left just slightly so you can feel that nice stretch in the right side of your body. If this is not comfortable with your arms extended, just bring your hands or your fingertips right onto your shoulders and pull your elbows towards the back wall as we lean. You can look up to the sky, rotate your chest just slightly, focus on that breathing, big inhale. Exhale. Great, one more breath here. Inhale all the way back up to center. Exhale, lean it to the right this time. Again, finding what position is gonna be comfortable for you within your body and breathe. Inhale all the way back up to the center. And as we exhale, we're gonna release our hands and twist to the left. So bring that right hand on your left knee, left fingertips back behind. Make sure we're sitting up tall here and look over your left shoulder. Big breath in. Exhale, relax your shoulders down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come to the center, arms go high. Exhale, twist to the right this time. Looking over that right shoulder, focusing on that breath. Part your lips just slightly, relaxing through your jaw. Lift through that chest. And bring a smile onto your lips. Thank yourself for showing up today, for taking this time for yourself for whatever it may be that you look to gain from this. One more breath here, in and out. Awesome, you can just twist back to the center, bringing your hands right onto your knees, curling your fingertips underneath of your kneecaps. We're gonna take a big breath in, lift our chest towards the sky and bring your body forward. And as we exhale, we're gonna pull our back towards the wall behind us, tuck your chin into your chest, Roll through that tailbone so it's lifting towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen, come forward. And exhale, round. Use your arms and legs as leverage as we move forward and back. Inhaling forward. Exhale, back. Holding it here and really feel your shoulder blades releasing towards the front of the wall, getting that extra stretch through your upper back. Pull your belly button into your spine. Inhale, lengthen, come forward, holding it here. Maybe you look over your right shoulder and then look over your left. Come back to center, exhale, round. Great, inhale, come back to center. And we're gonna come onto all fours into a tabletop position. Plant those palms. Go ahead and curl your toes under. Make sure your back is nice and flat 
and your knees are aligned with your hips, your wrists are aligned with your shoulders here. Take a big inhale, drop your belly, send your gaze forward, feel your shoulder blades rolling in towards your spine here. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, press into your hands, lift away from the mat, and breathe. Inhale, lengthen, dropping down into our cow. And exhale, round cat pose. Two more. Last one. Slow and steady here. And coming into our neutral tabletop position, we're going to flip our toes down and we're going to drop down onto our forearms, but you're going to bring your elbows towards your knees here. You're going to feel like you're in this little cocoon. We're going to really work on opening up our thoracic spine. So if you ever feel that pain in your upper shoulders or even right around your shoulder blade, this is the pose for you. So really press into that right hand, extend your left arm out and then around, tapping the backside of your hand onto your low back. Keep your gaze towards the floor for a moment. Take a big inhale and exhale. You're going to drop your shoulder down towards the mat. And then as we inhale, lift from the elbow, turning your chest towards that wall in front of you. Press into that right elbow. So you're starting to feel this straight line from elbow to elbow. So one is anchored to the floor, one is lifting towards the sky. And exhale, drop that shoulder back down, forehead comes to the mat. Inhale, lengthen, opening up that torso. Pressing into that right elbow, feeling your torso spinning just a little bit more. Exhale, release. Inhale, open. Now I know this pose feels a little crazy. And this is when we start to bring in some of those physical therapy moves to really support our body. Exhale, release. Inhale, open. Last one. Really press into that right elbow. Really lengthen through your chest. Feel that opening in your thoracic spine. And exhale, you can release that left arm down and we'll move on to the right side. So again, extend that right arm out long. Bring the top of your hand onto that low back. Dip your shoulder down. Inhale, open it all the way up. Lifting through that right shoulder and through your elbow. Pressing into that left elbow into the mat. And exhale, drop that shoulder down. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale. And exhale. We'll do two more. Really pressing into that elbow, trying to get that straight line, releasing it down. One more. Great job. You can bring your hand back to center. We're going to extend our forearms out just a little bit, coming into kind of that tabletop position, but down onto our forearms. We're going to sink our hips back just slightly, and we're going to continue with those cat cows, opening up through that upper back. So inhale, round through, really feeling those shoulder blades wrap around your body. And exhale, drop it down. Keep it going, bringing your upper body towards the ceiling, tucking your chin into your chest, and then releasing your belly down, sending your gaze forward. Connect this movement to your breath. Really feel that upper body starting to open up, warm up, release some of that tension that you're feeling. And then we'll do one more. Great job. We're going to come into our natural tabletop position. I want you to open your knees as wide as your mat. Bring your big toes into touch and sink your hips towards your heels, coming into our first child's pose. Relax your forehead all the way down to the mat. Close your eyes. We're just going to use this moment to breathe. Taking a big inhale in through the nose. And exhale, let it go through the mouth. Inhale, all the love in. Exhale, all the stress, all the trauma out, release. One more, just like that, in. And out. Great. 
Just let that breath come in and out through the nose in a normal rhythm. Bring a smile onto your lips. And I want you to think of one thing that you're grateful for from today. Awesome. With that next breath, come into your tabletop position. Curl those toes under. Take a big breath in. And on an exhale, press into your toes and begin to lift your hips towards the sky. Coming into our first downward facing dog. You can keep your heels lifted or even bend at your knees. Just sink your chest toward your thighs here. Press into all 10 fingers and take a breath. Inhale and exhale. Great. Bend those knees, look forward, step or walk all the way to the front of your mat. Snuggle your toes close to one another and then release your upper body over your lower body, getting a nice big bend here in your legs. And just relax here for a moment. Maybe take opposite hand to opposite elbow for ragdoll. Just coming inward, noticing what sensations you're feeling, noticing the thoughts, acknowledge what is happening within. Go ahead and release your arms down. Inhale, glide your hands up to your thighs, straighten through your legs, straighten through that upper body into our halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press into your feet here. We're gonna glide ourselves all the way up to standing, rolling through one vertebrae at a time. Rounding through your shoulders, stacking your neck here. And just go ahead and close your eyes, extend your arms long, take a big breath in. And out. Great. Bend those knees, drop your hands, we're going to drop big circles. You see on all the way back up, slight back bend at the top, and exhale forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Palms together. Bring them to your heart for prayer. Take a breath here. In and out. Great job. Keeping your feet snuggled and close together. We're going to just sink our hips back. Extend our arms forward. Don't lift them too high. We don't want to cause any compression at our shoulders here. But lift through that chest. Inhale. Exhale. Bring those palms together, bring them in front of your heart into that prayer pose. And then we're gonna twist to the left, connect your right elbow to your right knee. Really extend those arms long here. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Sink your hips a little lower, lift through that chest. One more breath in. And exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, big circle all the way up. Palms together into prayer. Keep it going all the way down into our chair pose. Twist to the right this time. Opening up through that right shoulder. Sinking your hips a little lower. Lifting through that chest. Big breath in. And exhale, release, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Great. Go ahead and plant your palms down. Come down into our tabletop position, nice and slow. Open your knees as wide as your mat. Send it back in a child's pose. Relaxing your forehead down. Maybe this time bringing your hands underneath of your shoulders. Really falling into a little cocoon here. Big inhale. And exhale, let it go. Inhale. Exhale. One more, just like that. In. And out. Good. Let that breath come to a normal rhythm. In and out through the nose. Bring a smile onto your lips. 
And I want you to think of a second thing that you're grateful for from today. And just allow yourself to relax in your mat. With that next inhale, find your flow all the way up to our downward facing dog. Inhaling in and out. Bend those knees, look forward, step only your left foot forward as far as you can and then frame your hands around that foot. Inhaling in. Exhale, release that back knee all the way down, keeping those toes curled if it's comfortable or flipping the toes to bring them flat. And then with that next inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Crescent lunge, palms together, bring them down to the heart. You guessed it, twist to the left, connect here. Look over that left shoulder and really feel this deep stretch. Breathe in and out. And again, notice where you might be feeling in that tension. See if you can sink a little lower into that twist, lifting through your chest here. One more breath in. And as we exhale, twist your body forward and then send your hips towards your heels, curling those front toes in towards your nose here. Tuck your chin into your chest and just breathe. Walk your hands forward into the about the center of your calf. Press into those fingertips. Lift your chest away from the floor. Exhale, round through that upper back, pressing it towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Great. Inhale, roll that front foot forward. Curl your back toes under. Lift your knee away from the floor. Step that right foot up to meet your left. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Bend those knees, big circle all the way up. Slight back bend at the top. And exhale, release it down. Bring your fingertips to the mat and then step that left foot way back. Shift your body weight forward, bending through that front knee, keeping it aligned over that front ankle. And when you're ready, Release that back knee down and find the foot position that's comfortable for you. Inhale, lift those arms all the way up. And exhale, bring your palms together down to your heart. Twist to the right this time. Look over that right shoulder. And again, find what's comfortable for you here. Breathing in and out. Every time I look at this painting that I did a couple years ago, it just reminds me to let go and to move forward and truly become who I'm supposed to be. So I hope every time you see it now, you're like, oh, that is me. I can do this. I can release and let go and be free. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, release those hands forward. Send your hips towards your heels. Curl those toes in towards your nose. Tuck your chin into your chest. Big stretch. Come on to your fingertips here. Inhale, lengthen through that upper body. And then round. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. One more. In. Out. Great. Inhale, roll through that front foot. Curl your back toes under. Lift that knee away from the floor. And step that left foot up to meet your right. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Great. Cross your right leg behind your left and drop your sit bones all the way down, coming down onto your seat. And then we're going to release our upper body all the way down. Extend those arms long, extend your legs long, get a big stretch here. You earned it. And then go ahead and pull your knees into your chest. Catch your shins and your hands here. 
Maybe find a slight rock side to side. Finding what feels comfortable for you. Inhaling in and out. Allowing your shoulders to relax. Allowing your jaw to unclench. Maybe spiral through your feet here one way and then the other. Just take a moment to just be still, to breathe. Great job. Go ahead and bring your palms together. You're going to send them through your knees, catching the outside edges of your feet here. And when you're ready, press the bottoms of your feet towards the sky, coming into our happy baby pose. And then again, maybe find a rock side to side. You can stay right here, just in stillness if this is comfortable, allowing the weight of your arms to pull your thighs towards the ground. Or maybe you start to extend one leg, bending the other. You can play around with the positioning of your hands. Maybe you take your peace fingers around your big toes. Maybe you grab the inside arches of your feet. Just find some movement that feels good for you. Be careless, just like that little baby on the ground. Be free. And with that next breath, bring the bottoms of your feet together, release them down to the mat, and bring your hands right at your hip creases. Take a big breath in, and on an exhale, press your palms into your thighs, Feeling your lower back extend here. Inhale, release. And exhale, press. Getting that traction going. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, press. Great job. Go ahead and relax your hands down to the floor. Extend one leg and then the other. Allowing your feet to fall open as wide as the mat. And then just allow your eyes to close here as we move into our savasana. Taking one big breath in. And exhale, let it all go. As we move into our stillness, this is the time to be still, to be calm, to look within, and not let those thoughts or feelings take you over. Just be present and breathe. And with that next inhale, go ahead and wiggle your toes. Maybe rock through your arms. Open your eyes. And when you're ready, roll onto your side and you'll take a breath there. Inhaling in. And out. Great. Press in your hands. Come all the way up into a comfortable seat. Legs crossed. Hands in your lap, eyes closed. Take a big inhale. And exhale. Bring your palms together all the way up to your forehead. Inhale. Exhale. Be kind in your thoughts to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your lips. Inhale. Exhale. Be kind in your words to yourself and others. Bring your hands down to your heart center. Inhale. 
Exhale. Be kind in your actions to yourself and others. Take one more big breath in. And on an exhale, we bow forward. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining this session this morning. I hope you are finding a little bit more self-love and compassion for yourself to move through your day, your week, your month, heck, this entire year. Anytime you need, come back to this session. It was a good one. I know I'm going to do it again. It's always weird when I do my own class, but it's beneficial and I know you needed it. So uh, if you haven't already, join the group, invite your friends officially. Go subscribe to YouTube so you can catch these whenever you want. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the future. Bye.